I want to know if she was really getting sued. Hi, welcome to today's video. We are going to be taking a look at some Kylie Cosmetics. I picked up a couple bits from the new relaunch and I'm also just giving my opinion. Did anybody ask for that opinion? No, but I'm going to give it anyway. So let's do. Okay, so Kylie literally last week relaunched her makeup brand. Still Kylie Cosmetics, packaging still looks pretty much the same, concept is still the same. I wonder why though? I watched her, she came out with a three part YouTube series and they were only about 10 minutes each of kind of all about Kylie Cosmetics and how it started and her idea to have the lip kits with the matching lip liner. It was quite a cute little series. Um, but it didn't touch upon why they were gonna rebrand or restart and she did say in the video there was always gonna be a relaunch or I can't remember exactly her phrase but she basically said there was always gonna be a relaunch happening uh, I don't know, but she didn't go into detail of why so it just made me a little bit confused but there has been rumours and these are rumours this is allegedly <laughs> I got no idea, uh, you know, how close to the truth this is, but there has been a rumour that she was being sued for maybe something to do with the formulas. I got no idea, but they have now reformulated and I'm just on the Kylie Cosmetics website and it says refreshed and revamped now clean and vegan. And they've basically said like there's loads and loads of ingredients that they've cancelled and banned um, that they will not include in any of their cosmetics. So. Is there any truth to the suing allegation? Maybe. Now before I show you the couple bits I picked up, I did think it was interesting that the packaging and all of that was just the same. Because I don't know if I'm just being a bit mean, and I probably am just being a bit mean, but I was thinking, if you've been able to take this time to completely revamp, completely redo everything, all the formulas new, packaging of the actual tubes looks slightly different, not the same. So it's all new packaging that you've had to reprint or, you know, repurchase or whatever. Why is the packaging, everything exactly the same? Was this not a chance to kind of take it to the next level? I don't know. I'm not saying I don't like the packaging. I think some of the packaging's cute, but I also kind of thought like, were you gonna update it? Or <laughs> we're just keeping it the same, okay? the same what i thought was really cool was that she's kept some of the things that probably sold the best or were the core products or you know were like fan favorites or you know whatever you want to call them best sellers and she's gotten rid of all the kind of mini collections that she did i think the mini collections were quite cute like there was that holiday collection that was quite cute but some of the collections i was just a bit like <laughs> i'm being a bit mean I just think with someone like Kylie, where she has hella money, hella resources, Kylie Cosmetics was a huge, huge, huge success. So that made her even more money. I just was expecting some of the collections to be a little bit more. And I thought some of the packaging for it and the way it was marketed made it look cheaper or more like child's makeup, like kids' makeup. Not stuff like marketed at a younger audience like teenagers which i'm sure are a large part of her fan base or support base but it actually looked like claire's kids makeup some of the packaging in my opinion don't come for me all in all i really think i've been a bit harsh in this video i think there wasn't anything particularly wrong with kylie cosmetics before obviously there must have been or they wouldn't have been getting sued allegedly <laughs> however I do think the revamp looks really cool. I think the highlights look really nice. The blushes look stunning. The lips look beautiful. The pictures are amazing. The campaign photos that Kylie took, incredible. She's stunning. So yeah, I'm quite actually excited for this. I was worried it was going to be exactly, exactly the same. It is similar, but it does seem to be, well, refreshed and revamped is what the website says. So I'm hoping I like the formulas because I'm not a big fan of the liquid lips because I found them really drying, so I only got one of those. But anyway, let's stop rambling and get into it. So I picked up three things. I got two lip glosses. These are in the shades 
324 Dan Duna and 300 Coco K. This is, um, are they both? I know that this one is definitely the collab that um, Kylie did with Chloe Kardashian. I don't know why I said Kardashian, we all know who I'm talking about. Um, that was from her collection and this might be as well. Apparently these were like fan favourites, super popular, so even though she hasn't brought it back in a like collab, if that makes sense, she brought back the shades. I hope that makes sense. And the third thing I picked up was the lip kit. This is in the shade Kylie. 808 Kylie and this is just a liquid lip and a lip liner so this is like the classic Kylie Jenner you know this is what made the brand really the lip kits I think the original shades were like Dr K, Candy K and there was another brown one but I can't think what the name was Sugar? Cookie? Sugar? No I don't know but um I thought I'd pick this up and then shade Kylie so I feel like this is the classic classic colour I am not that bothered about liquid lips so whether I'll actually like it may not be down to this formula. It could just be down to my negative bias <laughs> towards liquid lipsticks. But I'm going to do that one last because I don't want it to dry out my lips before I try the glosses. But I'm going to use the lip liner to line before I do the two glosses. I do actually quite like the packaging on this lip liner. And I was actually quite surprised with how affordable... The products but I say affordable like this because obviously affordable is different to different people but I thought this was going to be at a much more premium price point so the lip kit for the liquid lip and the lip liner was 26 it's 10 pounds for the liner and 16 for the liquid lip and the glosses were 15 each which I think is a pretty fair price very creamy oh I like it I love this colour. This is, you can see how easy that's just gliding on. I'm not pressing hard at all. It's very creamy, very easy to put on. My only issue, well it's not an issue, my only concern would be because it's so creamy, is it going to be long lasting? But I've only had it on for 0.5 seconds. So let's dial it back a little bit. Come on, give it a chance. I'm just gonna use one of my fingers to smudge that out a little bit. Oh, it's drying already. So maybe it could be long lasting. It's not smudging out loads. So even though it went on super creamy, it seems like it does dry down, which is good because you don't want it to be slipping all around the place. I like that colour a lot. It's a little bit nudier than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be pinkier, but I guess this is pinkier, so. But I like that lip shade. That's pretty. It reminds me, it's a teeny bit more brown than Macwell. So if you like Macwell, you'll probably like this colour. This is the shade Kylie. Let's pick a gloss. So this is the component for the glosses. I think it's very cute. It's the same kind of thing with the strips going down it but the Kylie is round the bottom rather than on the lid. I just had a look though on the packaging and this is 3.3 mil for £15 and this Fenty one, um, I haven't used this before I just took it out of the packet, it says that it's 9 mil and these I think is 17 so similar height or basically exactly the same height but just this one is much um, wider it's got so much more in it so for only this is 15 this is 17 and i'm getting what triple the product or almost triple the product so the lip liner definitely 10 up very good value the lip gloss you're not getting very much for your money but hopefully it looks nice i don't mind paying for things that are more expensive or less worth the money or have more or less product in it whatever as long as i like it i will pay it so this is the shade coco k oh no it's not I was like, what? This, this is the shade Dan Gina. <laughs> I was like, what? That's not what it's supposed to look like. That's fine, doesn't matter. It feels very smooth. It's got a very soft, sweet smell. I like it. It's 
seen that is the shade damn gina and let me say damn gina i really like this color it's got such nice pink reflex in it and i love i love pink so much <laughs> so to be honest I, I was hoping i was gonna like this one anyway there were quite a few of the high glosses the shimmery ones that looked incredible i didn't want to go overboard because you guys got made of money okay she may pretend to be made of money but you girl is not made of money even though i wish i was so this so far is a definite yes feels really smooth it's not sticky it's gone on super evenly i like it a lot i definitely could have put a bit more on but i didn't want to like overload but anyway that was the shade damn gina and so far so good i'm gonna take this off really the lip liner and then i'm gonna show you coco k which is what i said i was gonna show you last time but i obviously picked up the wrong one but anyway this is coco k yes why does it sound like i have a lisp then so this is the shade coco k i really like the color my thing is with this one where i don't know if you can really see but where this is supposed to be like an opaque color rather than damn gina which was kind of like a sheer ish shimmer i just feel like you can see it settling into any lines and it's almost like slightly patchy but if i put any more on i already got a lot of gloss on now i tried to just do a little bit and then it was a little bit sort of patchy where you could see thicker bits of gloss and thinner bits of gloss and i was trying to even it out and then i added a bit more and i feel like if i put any more on it's gonna like drip off my lip mm. i think the color's really nice i'm just not sure that it's sitting very evenly which is a shame because i think it's such a stunning color and it's such a beautiful reflective shine and i think this color will be good on loads of different people but it's just not especially like where you can see the lines on my lips it's just not sitting evenly onto the liquid lip i should also just mention i have just wiped off two glosses now and the lip liner but my lips actually feel very soft they don't feel dried or like i've just wiped off two lips like they feel quite hydrated so that's the plus about the glosses now let's try the liquid lip like i said this in the shade kylie oh i'm just a dough for applicator oh i want this to be nice because i don't have any liquid lips because i don't like how drying they are no i've got i've got two from fenty but even they're a little bit dry for how i like it so smooth the lip liner and the liquid lip are slightly different colours. You can see the lip liner on my top lip and the um, liquid lip on my bottom lip. I thought the whole point was so that they were the same. Um, it doesn't matter to me. I was just a little bit confused. It's a bit sticky as it's drying and when i first put it on it went on super smooth super even now that it's drying it's not mega smooth let's put some more there try and even it out can you see though it's like sticking together Let me stop for half an hour with it and I'll let it dry properly before I make my mind up. It is feeling very sticky though. I'm I'm not sure, the jury's still out. I'm gonna wait for it to dry and then come back to give you my thoughts on this and on everything. So it's been a few minutes, it's still drying, like the edges here are still, especially this side, still very sticky every time I 
every time I speak I can feel it especially in here sticking together which is annoying um but the center the center is now dried and actually it looked like it was going to be patchy but as it was drying down I was like uh oh it looks like it's gonna go patchy even though when I put it on it looks smooth but now that it's dried it's back to being smooth so it just must have been the different sections drying at different times I'm hoping this bit dries as well because it's very sticky there every time I speak it's very sticky all on that edge the center isn't sticky at all but that is annoying but this color is stunning really stunning and actually this doesn't feel too drying I have only had it on like six minutes so you know I can't really say how it's gonna be in five hours but for six minutes it's feeling not too drying if anything it needs to dry a bit more so that it's not um like tacky when it's touching each other when my lips are touching each other overall the things that I've tried I am like medium you know I'm not quite hot or extra hot. I'm not quite plainish. No, I'm definitely not plainish. And I'm not quite a lemon and herb. I'm definitely like a medium, you know? Like, the two glosses, feeling on the lip, so nice. The Damn Gina, the sparkly one, shimmer one, stunning. I love it. It looked beautiful. It was such a nice colour. The Coco K one, I really liked the colour. I'm not sure it looked quite even. The shade, the opacity, looked like it was inconsistent in the different places on my lip, which was annoying. Then when I put more on, it just got worse. So maybe I need to try again and do just a teeny bit and then build it up maybe. Maybe that will help. So the jury is still out on this one. The lip liner for £10. Amazing. I like it a lot. The lip liner is a 10 out of 10 for me. The Dan Gina is definitely like a 9 the cocoa I feel like is maybe at like a six, maybe even a five. I don't know if, I'm just looking at the website. So these are the, this is a, oh wait, which one's which? This is Damn Gina. This is a high gloss shimmer and this is a high gloss opaque. So I can say that the shimmer ones, are definitely I like them, but the opaque one, I'm not sure yet. Like I said, Drew's still out. I'll give it another go. The color was so nice. I was going to say maybe there's a learning curve, but it's just a gloss. There shouldn't be a learning curve of how to use it. It is just a gloss. Anyway, like I said, lip liner, love it. Uh, liquid lip. Of the liquid lips I've tried, this one is not too drying. So props to that. Colour, stunning. So stunning. This is a very much my lip but better kind of shade. This shade is definitely very universal. I can see a lot of people putting, being able to pull this off. This shade, yeah, this shade is really nice. In terms of how it feels when I put it on, super nice. It went on really smooth. Like I said, it looked a little bit patchy as it was drying. So it's probably just a different patches drying at different times. Only issue is that it still feels very sticky, like, which that's not comfortable. So if I just talk like this all the time so that my mouth doesn't touch, then that's fine. But I don't talk like that. Unless you talk like that, then that's fine. I'm not judging. This is a judgment free zone. I'm just going to take my Laura Mercier translucent powder and see if this does anything. I'm not sure the liquid lip is for me. It's still feeling sticky in that corner. I don't know why. Well, in both corners, but mostly that one corner. I'm not really sure what's going on. It just. That's obviously the bit where it's like closest to the inside of your mouth. So I don't know if because it's like wet inside of your mouth, it doesn't want to set. I've got no idea. The only two other like liquid lip type items I have is the Stunner from Fenty. And I like this, but I do find this a little bit not too dry, but a weeny, weeny bit dry. But I guess it is a liquid lip. So they're all going to feel a teeny bit dry. And I do also have the Jacqueline Cosmetics lip cushion. I know it's not the exact same. But it's got a similar formula and I would recommend something like this if you don't like liquid lips but you like the look. Because this still dried matte but it wasn't, it was almost like a very soft matte rather than a I can see every crack in your lip. Or I'm going to create cracks in your lips because it's so dry. This one I think is really good for long wear. Like I said not too dry 
probably about the normal dryness of a liquid lip. This Kylie one, will I be using it again? I mean, I bought it, so probably. Will I enjoy it or will it just be for an Insta pick? Maybe just for an Insta pick. The colour is stunning. I really like the colour. It's not showing up every single line I have on my lips, even with the powder on top, but it's sticky. Liquid lips are supposed to dry down, so why is it still tacky? I don't know, the jury's out on this one. The jury, I'm not sure the jury likes it though, so she's going to jail. Um, let me put this on top, see what this is saying. This is Coco K again. So I think this looks nicer on top of the liquid lip than it did just on its own. Like I said, I'll just give it a few more goes. I'm not calling it quick. Like I said, the jury's still out, but the jury's rooting for her. I'm rooting for you, babe. I really am. I'm rooting for you to win like your sister won. Because she won. I like Gina a lot. Gina's doing it for me. Coco. Come on. Catch up. Yeah, with the program, babe. Definitely think opaque glosses can be an issue anyway. But yeah, I'm not, not sure how I feel about her yet, but she has potential and the colour is very cute. So we'll stay, we'll stay positive. But those were the things I bought. I'm pretty happy with the things I bought. I think two of the four items are amazing, the lip liner and Dan Gina. I think one of them, which is Coca K gloss, has potential and I could really like her. I like her more now. And like I said, this, because the thing is, these two together, these two together, feel really nice. So I don't think this will go to waste. But will I be running or going out of my way to get any more? I don't think so. I will give it a couple more goes, see if, I don't know, she was having a bad day today. It's been a long day. It has. It's, it's almost 7pm. It's been a really long day. I've been at work all day. I'm tired. You're tired. You know she's tired <laughs> i'm interested to see where it's going to go from here what's going to come next what kind of collections are we going to be looking at or launches or core products just because you know if you've done a rebrand you're not going to want to launch the same stuff that you've been launching or what was the point in having the rebrand unless it's because you were actually getting sued see allegedly i don't know for a fact but yeah no i'm excited there's a couple of things i wish i had picked up um but no, I'm excited. There are definitely a couple of things I wanted to pick up more, but I didn't want to spend loads of money and then hate it. So also I should say shipping was free. I think I paid £56 for all of that. Yeah, 15 15 and 26 for the lip kit. Um, so 56 and shipping was free and it came pretty quick. It came in like four days. It came really fast actually, so that was good. But yeah, the um, other stuff on my face, in case you wanted to know, I have the MAC Studio Fix Foundation in NC10, I have the NARS Affogato Creamy Concealer, the stick one, um, not the stick, the tube one, and then I have, what else do I have? I have the Urban Decay Lash Freak Mascara on, and I have my Anastasia Beverly Hills Ash Brown Brow Definer, I've got my Hoola Bronzer on, I haven't used it in ages, but fancy just a little bit of hula today i have my vive blush sunset blush in the shade sorbet and i have my huda beauty what's it called uh glow obsessions in the shade light and last but by no means least are my lashes for the day so these are by phoebe makeup which is actually a good friend of mine and she is amazing these are the lilac ones this is my second pair i've got two so this is the one i had oh almost dropped it these are the ones I have on today, it's obviously empty. And these are the new fresh ones. These are the most stunning lashes. I mean, look at them. This has taken this super quick thrown together makeup look to the next level. They're saving me from looking tired from being at work all day. But please do check her out. I'm gonna leave her um, website linked down below as well as the Instagram and her um, own makeup Instagram. She's incredible. These lashes are incredible. And if you wanted to support, I'll put up her picture. She's stunning. Ah! If you wanted to support a UK owned local business, a black owned and a female owned business. What, what a babe, what a boss babe. If you wanted to support her, you should, because 
first of all look at her stunning but second of all her lashes are the best lashes am i a bit biased absolutely but only because i've tried the lashes and they're so good she's just come out with her new neon collection lashes with six stunning pairs my favorite are the purple but seriously if you were interested in these lashes or I'll put up a couple other pictures on the screen somewhere. If you're interested in any of these lashes, they are all by Phoebe Makeup, who is a wonderful, wonderful person. Uh, I cannot wait to see her business continue to grow and thrive and come out with more products that aren't just lashes. I am so excited for her. Ooh, lashes is just the start, baby. Lashes is just, the, what is it? To infinity and beyond.